Okay, guys, welcome back to Master B online course for DDG printer. And this, this video teaches you how to do the alignment for uh, print head calibration and uh, to and also other calibration to be sure you can get good uh, print quality. So lots of machine you cannot get a good print quality like uh, as the print white and color one pass print. You have the, the overlap problems. This is because you have not good uh, calibrate the machine. So this video teach you how to uh, do the alignment. The first we need to do the print head vertical calibration. But but before you do the vertical calibration, you must be sure you have a good nozzle. Uh, check print status like uh, white ink print head and color print head. The burst print head are print really well before you do the calibration. So we need to take the paper, put the paper on the top of the table, and be sure the table is not bending. You can use the tab to to, to fix the the paper with the the table to be sure you will not scratch the print head and do the. Thickness adjust for the paper up and down to be sure the gap between print head and the paper is safety. After that, we can start to do the calibration. We go to software and load the paper. We go to the software and we find out the test and head and vertical calibration. Okay. So from this picture, we can see that the white and the color, uh, the, the, the print head is straight lines, straight lines like this. So this is okay. So no need the calibration. But if you have not good, have not good calibration, like the, the first one, the second one is overlap, we need to do the adjust the print head position. Okay, so this uh, print out quality, we can see the vertical calibration test print. So we can see here this uh, this uh, half this half is the first uh, pass print, and this is the second pass. And we must be sure the first and second one print out quality must be straight as a straight lines like the first one and the second one is become a line like this. This is good, and if it's printed like this, like this way, so this is not good. And also, if you print it like this way, the first one and second one like this, it's also not good. So if like this one, like this way, we need to adjust the print head. This is the print head for color print head. We need to adjust print head position to right. There are four, there are three screws. We need to adjust three screw like this. And if like this way, we need to adjust the print head to left. So if the 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 half button printed to left, and then we adjust print head to left, rotate a little, little bit, and to right, these lines become right, and then we just turn the print head a little bit to right. And then we go to the print head, we can see uh, here have three screw one, two, three, and then we just loosen the print head, loosen the loosen the screws, and one. Two, three, the third screw, and we just a little bit. We just the print head a little bit to rotary to make the good position, and then we do not check. It. We do the vertical print again, and also you can, and also you can adjust uh, this four screw one, two, three, and four. You can adjust uh, this. Loosen that, loosen this force glue, and you can little adjust this the print head palette, aluminum palette, to adjust a little bit. So we suggest you to adjust the palette. If you cannot have good enough gap for adjust the palette, you can adjust the print head position a little bit to to make the print head rotary a little bit. So as I said, if the print result move to uh, move to the left, so you just print head, turn the print head to left a little bit. And if the print head, the print result is to red, so you just load the print head like this to 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 red a little bit, and then lock it again and print again to get the best results as as master B print like this. So if you get it this way, you can have a good alignment for print head vertical calibration.
Okay, so this is the method to print the vertical abrasion test. Thank you.